Hi, my name is Yan Yang. You can call me Yang. So I'm a sales manager in Self Driven. So I joined Self Driven as a management trainee three years back, um, working directly under our CEO, Mr. Lam Man Chong. So I think at the first year, it was quite a challenging year, I would say, um, because he was always setting a very high expectation towards our management trainee. Um, and he expect us to really face challenge and will ask for help when it's needed. I remember the first week when I joined um, the sales team and the uh, previous sales manager, that was the last week of uh, his tenureship. So, so what I feel is that I'm the only salesperson in the whole company and then I can feel the pressure where I remember I still stand up and calculate how many people we have in the office and then I just take it as average how much the expenses would be. So I think that was one thing that uh, makes me feel motivated to see like how much as a salesperson you need to generate uh, in order to cover the cost of the company. I would say that that was what I I been through that time because the time we are still very very new, so not many clients that we got on board yet. Yeah, that was a real story. I really stand out a couple of one, two, three, four, five, how many, and then times blah 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 salary. Some part of security where and I don't I don't feel the company is at the security level yet. So I think that was my motivation to work as a salesperson to go as much as I can, although I don't have much experience at the time. So I worked with one of the interns that we hired and I just dragged him and said let's start from cold calling and um, then get some advice from our CEO as well as the earlier CEO like how can we target a better um, audience so we went to do some research on the best um, companies that I mean the, the, uh, those companies that earn the best company award so those are our target uh, market and then we see which industry we want to focus on first But I believe what I did most of the time is I asked myself um, what am I trying to achieve or what can I still learn here? Um, then the answer is always I feel I want to grow with the company to see how the company with my involvement is can reach a certain um, target or milestone that I'm proud of before I leave. So that is one of the biggest um, um, target that I set in mind um, and I think that helps me to just get rid of that quitting just focus on the problem and let's see how we can solve the problem overcome it and focus on the next milestone okay so in the current fast moving world that we are living in I believe high adaptability is a trait that uh, is important towards success um, because things change every day we need to adapt to it um, yeah so secondly i would say is uh, the combination of empathy and outcome driven so the reason is uh, being empathy you can understand you listen and you understand different, different stakeholders including customers including um, colleagues including um, your boss so that you will know what is their need and what is um, the problem they're facing in and with that you come out you help them to come out with a better solution to um, really solve um, the problems that they're, they're facing and eventually that will lead to a better outcome so my next milestone or the milestone that i targeted is um, hopefully i can lead um, a team of um, probably staff of sales team um, that can help me to improve my people management skills and um, and also to transfer knowledge not to say knowledge but probably the experience that I have um, to, to the team and that will help to achieve a better result for all of us.